Well, hello. Welcome to another episode of Bang On Fishing. Now, it's a very hot day today, so I managed to come down to the Yonk again, um, having another go with this plastic that I have great success with. The tide is actually still coming in, so that's fantastic news. So I will make my way down to that um, brim hole that I found a few weeks ago by the train bridge there. But for now I'm going to have a few casts just by the car. I've just parked the car up after a two hour drive to this location. I don't live by the water, so that's why I don't have the opportunity to fish every day of the week. So uh, yeah, it's heating up quite quickly. So I'm going to get a few hours in, get some fishing done and hopefully make it three from three and have great success. I was going to put a surface lure on at first, but the uh, wind was up early hours of the morning. And you can see a lot of surface action, but for now I might just stick with what I know. While it's, uh, while it's <coughs> coming in quite hot quite quickly, I don't really want to be out here too long. I'm going to be gone by 11.30 at least. I'll have a few casts off this pontoon here. Let's see how we get on. It is very warm. I think last night I only got dropped down to about 27, 28 degrees, so very warm start for the day. Just have this first cast running that machete UV hurricane sprat that I was talking about last session. High tide's about an hour away, quite a large one as well, so there may even be a mulloway swimming through, especially up towards that a um, train bridge that I was fishing last time. But I'll try and get myself there as quickly as possible while the uh, tide's still coming in, giving the reel a nice grease up, bit of a service. So it's nice and smooth, ready for its first fish this session. Damn, that, that sun's got some bite to it, I tell you. Yep, first fish. It was a salmon trout anyhow, and that got off. Might have to slow the retrieve down. Fortunately the GoPro's struggling with the heat, so I'm trying to fast, my tr fast track myself to a place where the sun is behind my back. Now I've just discovered some brim here off the cliffs. Hopefully it holds up enough I can catch one before the battery goes out again. Or the heat. Shut off, but uh, there's heaps of brim along this drop off here. I'm about two and a half metres above the water as well. Catch a decent size one, I might struggle to land it. There's brim down here. Just have a decent hit. The sun's, I don't know, I might have to get a cover for the GoPro because it's heating up fast, being black. I'm just hoping I can get a brim out of here before the heat cuts it out again. One more up here and then all I'm going to have to shift location to have the sun behind the back so I don't get the GoPro heating up so quickly. I might have to swap colour up or something. I've just landed on the head of a brim. Got a tap as soon as I hit the water. Mm. I'll try on the other side and pull through against the tide. See if that helps. Can't get it on the inflow. See if I can get it against the grain. Mm. Looks like I'll have to go to the hole that uh, has ex exceeded twice before. Well, here it is, guys. I've just walked the one and a half K from the car to get to this particular spot where I've had great success along this stretch, running along parallel to the uh, train bridge. So hopefully this doesn't let me down. It's been a little bit tough along the first stretches there. That one salmon trout that got off 
wasn't worth riding home about. And now I've got the uh, sun behind my back. The GoPro won't heat up as much as I don't want it to, hopefully. This is good, because I haven't actually fished this stretch with the water so high. So this will be something new. Quietly make my way to the edge there. I'll just have a quick drink. It's absolutely steaming. Now I've got the long, oh no, I've got long pants on and, and the long sleeves, but it's better to be hot and uncomfortable than have a snake jump out at you. Might work my way all the way down to the couch again, I'm not sure yet. See how this goes with the first few casts. Well, it's currently 10 to 9 in the in the morning now, so I've been going for just over an hour and I haven't landed anything yet. As you can see, the tide's still cruising in. Plenty of fishing time, it's just uh, beating the heat, really. Got him. I knew this spot wouldn't let me down. It's only small. But it's a start. <laughs> well, there you go on the board. And it just released itself. That's fantastic. I've never done a slow, re I've never done an underwater release, but this one's probably a bit small for that. Stop curling up like a ball. Oh God, that's barely 20. That'd be barely 20 centimetres. Whoops. It's keen to get going. And there it goes. This gave me a face wash at the same time. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that woke me up. It's almost two and two casts then, because I just had a hit then before the weed there. Decent hits that run, going back out there, right? Just this little section here that was, that was boof, boof, boof. I'm almost tempted to dry one of my old favourites, the finesse worm in a minute. This isn't actually going off like the other two weeks. Just have a few more up, just up by this next spot where I'll be catching them as well. I lost that big one that was about up here somewhere. See if that big one's home. Nice oh, big cast as well. A few casts here, then I'll go and have a quick little snack. I think I've got a nice juicy custard tart sitting in the bag. I don't want that going too hot. Some snakes. <laughs> it's a deal you cannot knock back. You go and get a free coffee with a, if you buy one. So I thought, why can't I? Oh, I just got hit. It's an offer too good to refuse. Because it's drifting so fast, they're going to see it again. It's drifting. I don't know, I'm only using a 12th ounce. Heart, a 1 12th ounce, I mean. <laughs> It'd be a jolly big lure if it was a 12th ounce. Get out of that snag. Oh, I found someone else's snag. Hello? What have I found today? Look, Lauren, let's have a look. Alright, this will be interesting. There's something in there, I reckon. Down there. Let's have a look. What have we found today? Wouldn't it be funny if it was my lure from last week? Or the other week, I mean. Not last week. Let's have a look here. Great reveal. What have we got inside this weed?
Oh, you're kidding. This is my lure from two weeks ago. Well, I'll be stuffed. There you go, guys. How is that for luck? You don't see that every day. Well, you wouldn't believe it unless you watched my previous video when I lost that lure. Now I've found it, I've got all my leader back as well. I'll be able to reuse that. <laughs> oh, well, I'll be stuffed. Well, I'll have that back, thanks. Thank you. My bag's up there. <laughs> oh, who said fishing wasn't fun? That's incredible. Oh, you wouldn't read about that. I can't get over that. I mean, I have to say, it has got plenty of line left on it, so there is a better chance of doing that, but, oh, that, I can't get over that. There you go. Anyone else have the same experience? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> yep. Oh, the small one, bloody hell. <laughs> ah, they hooked it as well, so it must have been a few following it, I reckon. And then I'll move that off. They're easy. And then that one's under 20 centimetres of anything. Bloody hell. They're the ones that spike you. Ah, oh, you bastard, that got me. Yep. Tiny brim again, probably. There it is. Jeez, I can skull drag that in with six pound. Look at that. The tiny one. In the uh, mid to low 20s. Oh, I need to unhook them. They're very jumpy this morning. And there you have it. That's definitely around 22 centimetres. See you later. It might seem quite fast that the retrieving in is happening quite quickly because the tide's still ripping it in, ripping it across. So it's already covering its own ground anyway. Oh, that was close. Well, it looks like we've got a bit of a storm coming in from the west there. So that's not ideal. You don't want to be using graphite rods or any rod really when there's lightning around. Now, let's check that real quick. Whew, it's jolly hot. I can't believe I'm still outside. So it's 37.5. It's only 11, it's only 20 past 11 in the morning as well. Just to give you an idea how hot it is. There's a few storms on the radar, nothing too concerned just yet. I'll just work my way back now. I'll have a few casts on the cliffs, but uh, yeah, it's not looking like a great success, but it's better than a donut. So I had the three brim Nearly a land of that salmon trout at the start. I managed to find that lure, which is quite exciting. I can't believe that. So, a lure I lost two weeks ago. It's now being found again. <laughs> That's incredible. 
trip of finding lures. I found two lures last time and then I found my own this time. Three lures and two trips. Wrap it up there guys. Thanks for watching. Um, not the biggest brim session going around but better than a donut. It's finished off with those three small brim. Found my long lost lure two weeks ago. <laughs> unbelievable find that was and uh, hopefully i'll uh, see you in the next one